Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a palette bingo on the look that I have on right now. And I have used the BS Cosmetic Zodiac Love Science palette. I am in love with this palette. It has been my two weeks one palette for a few weeks now. And I'm going to choose another one now right after this video. That is why I wanted to do a palette bingo before I put it back into my collection. And I am so excited about how this look turned out. So if you want to see how I did it and what shades I got and so on please keep on watching and you will know. I have decided to do a palette bingo on the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics as I said in the intro. I am going to be numbering it like the other Zodiac palette that I did with Paula. So this is number one and then two and then we go up here and around. So I have put a random here and I have numbered it from 1 to 25. I am going to include the highlighter, so I will use it as an eyeshadow if it comes to that. So let's just pick our, let's try 5, but if it is only dark colors, 4. So let's try. 2. <laughs> uh, talking about dark colors, that is number 2 right there. I have not one that yet and this is a very blackish color very dark brown black black brown can you see that next one eight number eight is that color right there I used that yesterday it is a beautiful dark red so far so good actually 14 <laughs> Sagittarius, it is the purple, and I have not used that yet, so that is a nice shade. I can pair a purple with a red, so, so far it is this color scheme, and I have a look in mind. It might be the obvious choice, but I do have a look for it. 20. Oh, so far we have gotten all the colors that go together. We have Gemini. So the two for Gemini and the two for Sagittarius. So Gemini is a lighter purple, pinky purple. I'm so happy with this color scheme. And again, I do have a plan for this. And again, it might be the obvious choice, but I really, really like this color scheme. Let's try one more. I want, it would be nice for a lighter color for the inner corner maybe. So four. That's a matte shadow. It's a matte color, so it's not, what do you call it, light. <laughs> but it is this taupey grayish brown. And I did use that yesterday in the reddish look as well. So I think this is going to be nice for a transition or something. Just a very light hand. So this is the color scheme that I am working with. I'm actually pretty happy about this. When I look at the colors, I'm really happy that I didn't get a gold or a yellow or something. It, I wouldn't have minded if I got um, the highlighter or the blue or something. That would be really nice as well. Yeah, the colors go together because it is two signs and then one more that is in the same color family. So I'm I'm happy. So I'm going to prime my eyes and then I will be right back to do the rest of yeah, look, I have primed and I think I'm going to take a fluffy brush into the matte shadow from Libra, which is that one right there. Ever so lightly, I'm going to tap it into the shadow and then place it in my crease. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So I think this is going to act up like a transition shade or something. I'm normally not a person that goes for cool tone looks, but I actually like them a lot with my green eyes. If you hear any noise, it is my boyfriend that is renovating our kitchen. So, that is that noise if you hear it. And I can't cut it out, you know. Just going to put some lip balm. My lips are so dry right now. Because the weather is so bad today. It's raining, it's grey. Not very nice. So yeah, I think I'm going to go in with the matte shadow in Gemini, just a little bit into the crease. It is going to turn it all more red. So now I have used two mattes right here. 
I think I'm going to go in with the shimmers now and then I'm going to find out what I want to do with the dark shade afterwards. I am going to use my fingers because they just perform way better with my fingers. Applied with fingers, I should say. So I'm going to take the dark purple Sagittarius on my ring finger and in, in my outer corner. Oh, this is dark. But it is a beautiful purple. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this dark, so, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the corresponding shade. Something like this. Actually, really like this purple. It's really beautiful. Being a stained. I don't have my towel, so my leg is so stained after this. Then I'm going to take that Gemini pebble in my inner corner, I think. Just to have something that brightens it up a little bit. So it's not this dark. I really like this. It's dark. Just like the weather today. <laughs> It's gorgeous. I really like this. I'm going to take a little bit more of the matte Gemini shade and just put it through my crease a little bit to help to blend out the shimmer shades. On a smaller brush here, I'm going to take the Scorpio white shade right there. Because I am allowing myself to add in shades, I just need to use the five shades that I pulled. So I'm just going to blend out the transition shade, crease shade, and highlight my brow bone a little bit. I think I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and then I will be right back to do the lower lash line, and then we can end this video. Okay, I have done the rest of my makeup and now I'm going to do the lower lash line and I am first going to take this shade right here from Gemini, the matte. Then the last shade from Secretary is this black brown one. I'm putting it right here. Then in the inner corner, I'm going to take my pinky into the highlight shade. Finishing touches, mascara, and the lower lash line. So that is the finished look pretty happy about it to be honest that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i will link the playlist in the end of this video so you can click and watch all of the palette bingos that i have done on my channel i have done quite a few i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe down below so you can be a part of this family that i'm growing i'm really excited about it and until my next video please take care